Space Force. Where do we sign up? How do you start boot camp, but you don't have a single recruiting center? There is an Air Force, I should say now Space Force YouTuber that is out there in Hawaii right now that has actually been making videos. Not really about the Space Force itself, because it sounds like he's kind of doing the same thing, just a different branch, and maybe they're still trying to figure things out. I wish he would actually make content covering more of this, because I think maybe we would have a lot less questions, or maybe they just tell him not to talk about it, but... Liftoff. We have a liftoff. First off, how cool is it to be a part of a Nikki MGTV video? If you guys don't know who Nikki MGTV is, is he's one of the bigger Navy military YouTubers out there, and it's just cool to get a shout out. Second off, we are starting to get the recognition that we rightfully deserve. First, we made it on that Navy Federal Credit Union commercial. At Navy Federal Credit Union, we are more than our name. We are the Army. Marines, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, Space Force. And uh, now I think people are starting to realize that we're not just a Netflix TV show. So it is true the Space Force does not have its own recruiting offices as of yet. Currently we're utilizing the Air Force recruiting. So we have certain AFSCs or MOSs and those are basically jobs within the military that go and transfer into the Space Force. So again, I am a One Charlie Six Space System Operations, and that was one of the main jobs that transferred into the Space Force. We're also gonna be grabbing from Intel Career Fields and Acquisitions, I believe. But if you wanna join the Space Force right now, the biggest thing that you can do, or the best thing you can do, is go to the Air Force recruiters and say, hey, I wanna go to the Space Force. What are the jobs that can transfer into the Space Force? And that'll be your best bet, because right now, we don't really know when there's going to be Space Force recruiting offices, and that's going to be really down the road. Also, we're currently utilizing, as you guys have seen, the Air Force basic training still. Down the road, when we do have things more solidified, we probably might have our own Space Force boot camp. I'm really accustomed to how the Space Force is operated and fought, because let's be real, this is the first branch since the Air Force in 1947. So this is the first branch in the digital age that we need to figure out how we're going to go about our tactics and our operating procedures and they actually made a space force doctrine it's a pretty long read but they have that set aside so um i believe on october 20th he had seven recruits and they're going to air force basic training as space force the first four in the picture were enlisted into the baltimore meps and then a couple hours later three more were enlisted in the denver colorado meps so pretty exciting for these kids especially being sworn in by General Thompson, and General Thompson is the Vice Chief of Operations for the Space Force, as well as having the senior enlisted in the Space Force, Chief Toberman. You know, really awesome opportunity for these guys, and um, I do wish them nothing but the best, um, especially as they spearhead this and pioneer us going forward. So these Space Force trainees are gonna be going to Air Force basic training and utilizing that basic training system until they graduate and then they'll go to their technical training which will most likely be at Vandenberg Air Force Base. And um, really exciting for these kids. You know, they are they are the pioneers, the front runners that are enlisting straight into the Space Force. So really excited and um, you know, just wanna bring to light what we actually do. Cause as Nikki MGTV said, a lot of people don't know what we do. So I work on a joint base. There's a lot of different branches such as Army, uh, Air Force, Marines, Navy, everyone else. So when I do wear my Space Force uniform, I get a couple like looks like. Wait a minute, who are you? Is that real? Um, I've been in the Air Force for nine years. I said it so many times, but I've been in the Air Force for nine years as a space operator. And that's why I transferred because it was my job as a space system operations to go into the Space Force. Um, so I can speak to a lot of it, but he mentioned, you know, there are certain clearances that you can't necessarily talk about everything. But at the young class level, everything that if you want to know what do we do is what Space Command did in the Air Force, Air Force Space Command. So I work GPS, there's different things such as missile warning, missile defense. And this is all things that people can look into and see, oh, Air Force Space Command did this. Because we have been around, we have been operating satellites, we have been in the space domain under the Air Force Space Command umbrella, but people don't understand that. They think people just woke up one day and said, hey, we're gonna start doing things space. A lot of people don't know 
GPS is a military asset. People use GPS every day, but they never knew that this was an Air Force asset before it was given to the general public. You know, I, I did make this channel so I could help bridge that disconnect. I have had people come reach out to me um, with questions and, uh, you know, saying thanks for all this information. You know, I've, I've been really interested in joining. And, you know, it, it is something that I'm, I'm happy to do. But uh, for all the military YouTubers out there, you know, you got to sometimes when you're making military content, you, you sometimes you're walking on eggshells, man, because you people know you're part of the military and then people are waiting for you to slip. I did catch some heat for some of my videos, one particular video, and I took it down. Now, it doesn't matter how positive the intentions are and how good your intentions are. It, you know, why why would you jeopardize your career in the military for something, you know, like YouTube? And it, it just kind of sucks. But at the same time, you're in the military, so you got to uphold that standard. By the end of fiscal year 2021, Space Force is expected to have at least 6,500 active duty members. We are going to continue to grow and develop, so just be on the lookout. If you guys want to know a little more about Space Force and all that information, I would suggest you guys like this, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I'd really appreciate it, and uh, I'm going to get more content and information out to you guys. So for those of you that do want to join the Space Force, you guys have that ammunition of knowledge to use and utilize in making your decisions. And as always, I appreciate you guys. Stay safe, keep grinding, and y'all take it easy.